Hey, what's up, everybody? The United States Mint is saying they are expecting demand to be great for the 2023 Morgan and Peace Silver dollars. So enroll now to be sure to get the coins that you desire. We're going to be talking about that in this video. But before we do, please hit the thumbs up button on this video and definitely leave me a comment in the comment section down below with your thoughts, your opinions on this topic. Also, let me know if you received this exact same email. So in this email that I actually received yesterday as I'm recording this video on August the 17th, 2022, and I received this email yesterday that it says, Enroll for Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars. Enrollment is open for the 2023 Morgan and Peace Silver silver dollar so let's pause right there just for a moment because i do believe these enrollments have been open since the first week of july and now we are midway through august and i do believe this is the first email that the united states mint has sent out about this so i believe this is their first attempt of some kind of advertising or marketing to sell these coins for 2023 but it says enrollment is open for the 2023 Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars struck in the highest quality silver. They will be the centerpiece of any collection while capturing the essential era of American coinage history. Continue your Morgan and Peace collection with the next release of these iconic coins. We expect the demand for these coins to be great and roll now to make sure you get the coins that you desire and then if we scroll down a little bit further we will see that they even give you a little red enroll now button that will probably take you right to their enrollment page now like i said before this is i believe their first attempt to reach a broad audience to advertise these coins for 2023 even though the enrollments have actually been open for over a month so let's head over to the united states mint enrollment page and i'm going to give you my thoughts on these coins and what the potential demand could be for these coins in 2023 so let's talk about it we are on the united states enrollment page looking at the 2023 morgan and peace silver dollars what is demand going to be and is the demand going to exceed the projected mintage limits please keep in mind nothing in this video is financial advice this is not collecting advice what you should buy what you shouldn't buy what you should collect what you shouldn't collect but let me know in the comment section down below what you think about these coins is this something you've already enrolled for once i found out about these enrollments it took me about 20 seconds to max out my enrollments for all of these coins because i know that later down the road if i don't want to buy three of each of all these coins i can always i do believe up to 72 hours prior to the official release of these coins when the united states mint is going to charge your account as long as you remember to do so you can always decrease your enrollments or even zero out your enrollments to not buy any of them but once the red add to the bag button goes to remind me then you are no longer able to do that so that's why i always like to put my enrollment to the maximum amount if there's a maximum of three i'll put it up to three and then later on i can always decrease and i may end up doing that with some of these I'll make up my mind on that as we get closer to whenever these are going to be released, which again, because the 2023 product schedule is not out yet, we have no idea when these are going to be released. Are they going to be released on all the same day or are they going to spread them out throughout the year? Let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see these all released at the same time on the same day or would you like to see them spread out throughout the year? Now, as far as what the United States Mint is saying about demand being high for these coins, in my opinion, I have no doubt that there's going to be a lot of demand for these coins. But also, in my opinion, the projected mintage limits are also very high. Is the demand going to exceed what these mintage limits are projected to be? In my opinion, similar to the uncirculated American Silver Eagle, I think the least amount of demand is going to be for the uncirculated. 
I could be completely wrong. However, this was already done. We, in 2021, we had a lot of uncirculated Morgan and Peace silver dollars. We had five uncirculated Morgan silver dollars and one uncirculated Peace dollar. And it had a lower mintage. The projected mintage limit for this is 275000 which in my opinion is a bit on the high side. So will demand exceed 275,000? Does 275,000 people want this coin or will more than 275,000 want this coin? That's a very good question. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. However, I believe that this is going to be the least desired coin out of all these coins that are going to be released in 2023. And I absolutely think that there is going to be more demand for the 2023 Morgan and Peace Silver Dollar proof coins. However, they're also increasing the mintage limit, again, projected mintage limit of 400,000. Will demand exceed this 400,000? It could, but then again, it may not. If this was a proof American Silver Eagle, I would say that this mintage limit is way too high for a proof American Silver Eagle, but this is going to be the first proof peace dollar while there has been proof Morgan dollars before with the original Morgan silver dollars that was in circulation. This is going to be the first proof peace dollar. So in my opinion, I'm more inclined to say that the peace dollar could have a higher demand than the 2023 Morgan dollar. And not only for that reason, but for reasons that a lot of people have brought up in the comment section of my videos. And that is there was not a 1923 Morgan dollar, but there was a 1923 Peace dollar. So really a lot of people think that the 2023 Morgan dollar makes very little sense and it makes more sense for the 2023 Peace dollar. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below below. For a retaining value, in my opinion, I hope the United States Mint sells less than 400000 of each of these proof Morgan and Peace dollars. Wow, I'm sure the United States Mint hopes that they sell all 400000 of these. I hope that they sell way less than the 400000 of each of these coins. Then we're going to talk about the reverse proof. Now, these are the coins that I am more excited about than anything else that we're talking about in this video. Now, before we do talk about anything else, I do want to mention that the United States Mint did add up here limited. Now, again, in my opinion, that's another marketing strategy because they haven't changed anything as far as the projected mintage limits. They're all still the same. They just threw up here a limited. Now, maybe they will limit these a little bit more than they already are, or they just threw that up here as another selling tactic. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. But I think this one here is the one that I am more excited about than anything else that the United States Mint is offering with these Morgan and Peace 2023 silver dollars. And that is the reverse proof two coin set. But this is also supposed to be the most expensive out of all of them as well. I do not believe the United States Mint has officially announced any pricing for these coins. All of them say 2023 enrollment price is to be determined per unit. However, there was a Coin World article that did come out. I believe the projected pricing for these and anything can change when the 2023 product schedule officially comes out and when the pricing is officially listed on there. But I believe the projected pricing is similar to what the proof and uncirculated Morgan silver dollars is. And the uncirculated, I believe, is supposed to be $67 per coin. The proof is supposed to be $70 three dollars per coin and the reverse proof two coin set is supposed to be what the 2021 reverse proof american silver eagle set was in 2021 and that is 175 dollars which would make 
each coin in this set the most expensive out of all the releases if the United States Mint actually does stick with that pricing. Similar to the other two releases, I believe this mintage limit, while I think the demand is probably going to be the highest for this set, and the price is definitely higher than all the other ones as well, or the projected pricing. But is the mintage limit a little bit too high to retain its value? And that is a question that I don't know. That's something the market will judge over time. In my opinion, the highest demand for these 2023 Morgan and Peace Silver dollars is going to be this reverse proof two coin set, which is the first ever reverse proof and the first ever proof peace dollar which are two first there's never been a proof peace dollar and there's never been a reverse proof morgan and peace dollar but there has been the uncirculated in 2021 and there's also been with the original morgan silver dollars we've also had proof morgan silver dollars in my opinion as of this very moment i think the highest demand is going to be for the first all of the first which is going to be the first proof peace dollar and the first reverse proof morgan and peace silver dollars with that being said one thing that could eat at this demand is the fact that it looks like the united states mint is planning on doing these every single year and that includes this reverse proof two coin set now are they actually going to do these every single year i don't know but it does say and i have done a video on this before where it says every year receive this beautiful set and every one of these offerings every one of these enrollments is worded exactly like that so there you have the reverse proof set here you have the proof morgan silver dollar and it says every year receive this beautiful morgan silver dollar and then as well as the uncirculated it says the exact same thing now i'm not entirely surprised by the uncirculated and the proofs that say every single year but in my opinion i think the reverse proof should be limited to just one year and that would be for 2023 if they do decide to do these every year maybe that will hurt demand or maybe it won't hurt demand for 2023 and demand will be down for everything after 2023 like 2024 2025 and so on so is the united states mint going to do these every single year i don't know but that's exactly what this says could they change it up and say like this one here is from the san francisco mint i know there's a lot of people who would love to see west point could they throw in a west point reverse proof two coin set could they throw in a west point proof morgan and peace silver dollar or a west point uncirculate absolutely they could do that and it may be very interesting going forward if they would do a West Point and kind of switch them up a little bit and not do them all exactly the same. However, let me know in the comment section down below, how would you feel if this was a every single year program? And would that dictate how many of these in 2023 you buy? Now, maybe in 2023, you buy them all and then as time goes on maybe just pick and choose which ones you want or maybe you collect them all in 2023 and going forward let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below definitely interested to hear your thoughts your opinions on this topic please smash that thumbs up button like comment subscribe and i'll talk to everybody on my next video thanks a lot everyone